What is up everybody? It's your boy Hunter here and I'm a film nerd and this is round two match three of the ultimate Schmo down team tournament and tonight's match is team top ten taking on Bloatfield's cat. Um of course winner will face team action so you know this is a epic match because everyone knows Burnett or the rivalry between Burnett and Roca and just to talk back and forth so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skip the entrance the um the opening go right into the um <clears throat> go right into the um the interview process and then we'll start the match from there due to copyright I'm not gonna show any music not sponsored but um yeah I'm gonna skip the music and we're just gonna go and play along we have our whiteboard and our marker already so let's get to top 10 versus Bloodfield's cat enjoy congratulations okay. Burnett Good job. You came back. You I were did, losing. Man. You answered three in a row. You beat a great opponent, Hector Navarro. He was a great opponent. And now you're a champion. We're a champion. We know Bibiani's going to be a champion oh, soon. That's what I hear. We know that. Growl, growl. Yeah. So we know that's going to happen. And we talked about this last time. We recruited Bibiani. That made three. So I'm asking you, Robert Meyer Burnett, you want to be the fourth member of the Four Horsemen. Come with us and be champions and rule movie Are trivia. you telling me that I get to be an acolyte of Apocalypse? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I'm on it. Yeah. I'm on your you're team. In? I join. And your winners. And the new <laughs> movie trivia showdown. Champions of the world. Little evil. I don't know what the dance got in there. If you guys think these clowns are going to hold on to the belts, please. Toon Land. Just tell yourself, Toon Land. Just keep repeating that to yourself. <laughs> well, Toon Land. Doesn't think this is real. This is, this is all scripted. Trust me, I am going to be beating myself up until we get a shot at a rematch with those assholes, and they're going down. Team Top 10. We got a legion of fans behind us. They want us to do it. That energy is going to carry us to destroy these two jokes, these two pretenders, these paper champions. And your winner! see these guys anymore right i mean you know roca was was that really roca was that somebody else playing that was rough i mean did they even come to play today what is that i mean we're gonna go party they're gonna go cry hey, somebody check on roca i'm worried about him he looks so sad he's like you are walking around here just head down dragging his feet i mean you put him in protective custody for the for the weekend look this was a team loss between the two of us I, i've been in his position before where i felt like i lost it for the two of us and i know that's not the case no we're both equally in this together, so we lost. And I, and I don't know how we lost, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. What? What is next? What is next for you? What is next for us horse persons? I don't know. I, I, I've never had a loss like this, so I don't know. I mean, I, all the other losses, it always came down to the last question. I always thought I had it. This is something else. And uh, I don't know. It, it might be time to, for me to go back and take a look at my strategy. You know, I've, I've kind of carried myself over the last year in a certain way to kind of get to positions. I've won titles. Listen, I'm a winner, God damn it. And I, I I may go down and I may take this hard for a day or two, but then I bounce back, you know, making fun of my records, having them kissed belts. I've never touched belts. So what I'm going to tell you now is the best way to get back on top is to win. Now, I let my partner down, but I can't let Outlaw Nation down a second time, and I can't let the Four Horsemen down a second time. We got to get belts around our waist. That's what, the fa that's what the strength of the faction is. And if I'm going to lead, if I'm going to be a real leader, then I got to win. That's how it works. Somebody is out there that will take me and make me better than the two of you have. I know that they are out there! Anyone! Wait. Any team! Oh, shit. I'm yours no, right now! Come and get I know. it! Come and get the no. new champion! No! 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 no. Help me Wait win a the minute. Wait a minute! Help 
Wait, 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 wait a minute. The Lions did it? Wait. What is this? Got the, the Lions did it here? Draco. What the minute? What the hell is happening? Nino, Snyder. Wait a minute. This is what I'm talking about. I love Burnett. Redheads. What is happening? I love it, Draco. Burnett's hat. I Burnett is joining the Lions then? And this guy. Burnett is joining the Lions then. This. This is what I'm talking no about. Way. This is a team. What is the This world? is a championship group of guys. And your winner. play top 10. Again? John Roca, again. I mean, can we finally just put can, these losers out of their misery and just get them out of the tournament? I don't know what is going on. How do they keep getting here? I don't know. How many times are we going to they're in bed with Harloff. We didn't lose in the first round. We know we want the belt. We said four matches. Now we're down to three. That's how it works. And we want that belt. We want the belts, rather. We want the Patriots again. I want to show them what I can do. I'm so driven, like I've never been driven before, like the old school stuff. And I want to kick the shit out of the Patriots. Put and that's up, my baby. personal choice. Now, right there, baby. We'll go ahead and skip to the three against real rejects. But in that time, competitors and these two teams, they know their stuff. But Andrako is a guy with the all the seriously. What kind of art school? Blofeld's pussy go again, once again, back into another tournament. I'll show you it right now. Well, 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 Matt, here we go again, once again, back into another tournament, back into another second round. And who do we meet? Blofeld's Pussycat? What do you, I don't know, what is this thing? Seriously, what kind of art school reject named this Seriously. fucking team? Are you kidding me? Blofeld's cat. Is that Bubba's supposed to strike fear in, yeah. in who? Garfield? You know, guys, Garfield. how hilarious that to find somebody good enough to compete with us, we have to just find more teams within the lion's den. It is so pathetic. And here we are. How handsome are these two guys behind me? Look at these get-ups. Matt, we're facing one of our former horsemen, mm -hmm. the Ensign. We had to put him down. We did. We had to put him down. Robert Meyer Burnett, he lost, he, you know, he's, he's got so many losses, and then he blamed us for it, then he left. Exactly. Now he got lucky because Andrako's carrying him into the second round in that first match. I mean, they, John, they're one John Madden answer away from going home crying. This is going to be the third time we beat these morons. Like, how many times do we have to go through this? How are you feeling? Well, I feel fantastic. I mean, you know, I see this as the, the true end of the Four Horsemen. I mean, we watched Bibiani. What a choker that guy turned out to be. Meow, I mean, meow. And now my old teammates, John Roca and Mr. Nost. I mean, the thing about it, Mr. Nost is I bear him no ill will. I don't. But 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 Roca used to drive a train to Hogwarts in his mind. And and that was something that I never really understood when he put on his little conducting uniform. Where is he going to conduct anyone now? We're taking on uh, a new section of the Lions then. Yeah. And we're going to beat this section of the Lions then. Ugh. We'll take on the next counterparts from the Lions then and whoever else uh, commissioner decides to throw our way. we got no problem with that. We're going to take him out because like, guess what? You left the horsemen and what happened since? Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. nothing. What's going to happen again? Nothing. The only people that are going to take on the Patriots is us, is Blofeld's cat. Top 10 is merely, it's kind of like when Daenerys Targaryen stepped onto Dragonstone and she had to go up those long stairs. Top 10 is like the first stair. Once you step over that stair, the castle is yours. The castle is ours, my friends. It's ours. That's all we're going to do right there. Number one. That's what we're here for. We're here to win. So let's take care of these assholes today and whoever the next assholes are and the assholes after that because we're going to have those belts back across our waist. Just you wait. Oh, hell yeah, man. Look, a lot of shots taken. A lot of shots taken, as we know, where the Lions and Grace and Hancock, like I said that, before, um, is representing Draco the Lions then today. And they were just kind of laughing at top 10, calling them pretty much has-beens. And the fact that the Lions been has beaten them already the twice video, before. And now, and Burnett basically taking well, his yeah, shots and saying that he was a horseman. And then the, the leadership skills of Roca made him go and find a real team. And then you got Nost and Roca, who are just basically saying that this is going to be their, their step, their way to the championship once again. And a way to prove that they are still on the 
top or <laughs> upper echelon of yeah. this league. Yeah, well, it is. I mean, there's so many great teams. The winner of this plays against your buddies, Team Action. Uh, they, team Action beating Team Trek. They have secured themselves a spot into the semifinals, and we're going to see who's going to do it between Top 10 and Blofeld's Cat. This is a finals match in some yeah. tournaments. It really is. All right, guys, so I'm ready to go. Ken, what's the tale of the tape? All right, tale of the tape with Top 10. They, they have a lot of strengths, as, as most teams by this point would have a lot of strengths, but biopics, westerns, and whatever Matt Nose watches. All right. And Blofeld's Cat, classic comic book movies. You know, Robert Meyer Burnett Bink brings that Greek, uh, geek and Greek cred. Yeah, He's uh -huh. not uh, Greek, For though. Sure. And, uh, and Andreco is a very well-rounded movie fan, so they are going to bring a lot to this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for, for the, the Movie Trivia Schmoda. <laughs> Three rounds in the team division. Right, we're going to like around there too with that. Wins. Three. Champions are here. Coming up. Taking some real go. shots here. Hey, Taking some real shots. Hey, y'all. All, right. all right, here the we go. One doesn't get caught. That's all right, all guys, here we go. Ready? The shots are being taken. Bad blood yeah. on the table. Here we go. So, top 10. Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Blofeld's cat, are you ready? Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. Well, let's get ready to schmoda. <laughs> Here we go. Question number one in the category of action adventure. Action adventure. Which movie star was mentioned to have been the president in the action film Demolition Man? Ooh. It's a deep cut, I will say, to start the game out. Yeah. But you have to earn it this late. Well, in the yeah, this is round two. Five. Chuck Norris. I don't know. Four. <laughs> three. Two. Wait, random guess. One. Pens down, please. Matt Damn. Nost. No idea. Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's correct. That's correct. Burnett. Whoa! Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's correct. That's correct. Roca. Arnold Schwarzenegger. And yes. Arnold Schwarzenegger. There you go. 2-2. Two, two. Ah. Nose playing chicken here, and he gets it. 2-2. Two, two. All right, guys. Question two, category horror thriller. Who plays police captain Ed Ramey, who tries to negotiate with Colin Farrell in the thriller Phone booth. See, to me, I think that's a harder oh. deep cut. That's, well, yeah, yeah. But it's usually one of those answers, if you think hard enough, you probably just guess that this it's person's in the Floating movie. in the ether. Yeah. yeah. And five. Name's not coming to me. Four. Three. Two. And one. Oh, pens down! Pens down. <laughs> Burnett. Just a guess. Kiefer Sutherland. That's incorrect. That's correct. Roca. Forrest Whitaker. That's, That's correct. correct. And, and Draco. F. Whitaker? We'll take that. And yeah. Nost. Al Pacino. No, incorrect. Yeah. All right. So three, uh, three. three. The fact that Roca screamed at Andrako and Andrako got scared count, and put it down. That shouldn't even count. It was amazing. It's like, All right. Whitaker. All right. Here we, here we go. It is. It is really Next great. one. Next one. Dramas. Dramas. Who played Eddie's ski jumping coach in Eddie the Eagle? That, I mean, that was one of the funnier moments. Did you get a chance to see that? that I, did, I, get really to, I did get to see Five, that. Five. Hugh Jackman. Four. Three. Two. One. Outlaw. Hugh Jackman. Correct. And Draco. Hugh Jackman. Correct. Nost. Hugh Jackman. Correct. And Burnett. Hugh Jackman. Wow. wow. Here we go. Wow. So top five, 10 five. here. Five. And Blofeld's cat. 5-5. Five, five. <laughs> Going into fantasy sci-fi. All right, fantasy sci-fi for question four. Who plays Serlina's two-headed servant Scrad in Men in Black 2? Oh, yeah. All right. Men in oh, Black 2. I had to two pick the worst Men in sure. Black movie. Looks like the outlaw picked it up. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Mark okay. Andreco. Johnny Knoxville? That's correct. correct. And no. Johnny Knoxville. Correct. correct. Burnett. Alan Rickman. Oh, Burnett oh. missed it. Roca. Johnny Knoxville. They got right. it. Wow. Woo. So now top 10 go going up by one point here over Blofeld's right. Cat. Going into the next question of Sorry. comic book movies. No. Comic book movies. Who played Dick Grayson in Batman Forever? You know, I, I had that uh, movie surgically removed from my brain. The Forever one? Yeah, that one and... and the other one was yeah, terrible. That, that's a, yeah, this one oh was right. You're right. Five, oh. four, three, Chris two, O'Donnell. One. Pens down, please. Pens down and nose. Chris O'Donnell. Correct. Burnett. Chris. Uh, wow. Oh, and oh, Roca. Chris O'Donnell. Wow. Correct. And then Draco. Chris O'Donnell. Wow. Correct. So the comic book Sorry. guy missed that one. Nine seven there. All right. Nine seven. Nine seven. Roca I'm, I'm and the idiot. Roca and, and Draco have not missed. 
All right, guys, sixth question category is movie taglines. What 90s movie had the following tagline? His life was in their hands, now her toe is in the mail. Had the following tagline, his life was in their hands, now her toe is in the mail. <laughs> You've got mail. Could you repeat the question? It's one, mm -hmm. sure. What 1990s movie had the following tagline? His life was in their hands, now her toe is in the mail. Nope. Just guessing. Five, four, three. At least one of us knows. Two and one. Pens down, Burnett. And what do you got, Burnett? Two Days in the Valley? Incorrect. Correct. Roca. The Big Lebowski. Correct. correct. And I know that you knew that. You're lying. And Draco. Ruthless people. Incorrect. Correct. Big Lebowski. Wow, look at that. Whoa. Top 10 taking a four-point lead here. 11-7 now. 11-7 as we get into the next one. Comedy. Comedy is the next one. Who plays Irene Waters, the woman Jim Carrey's character falls for in me, myself, and Irene? Roka playing for a perfect game right now. So. All right. And yeah. five, four, Three, two, Can you one. Repeat the question, please. There you go. Come on, Matt. Sorry. Repeating the he question. Here you go. Who plays Irene Waters, the woman Jim Carrey's Big character body. falls for in me, myself, and Irene? Five, four, three. I was two, like Cameron Diaz. One. All right, pens down and Roca. Uh, Renee Zellweger. That is correct. correct. And uh, sorry, Andreka. Renee Zellweger. Correct. Right. And Nose didn't have it. Uh, Burnett. Emily Watson. And oh, wow. All right. So here we go. 12-8. 12-8. 12-8. All right. So right. here we go. Okay. Animated. All right, guys. Eighth question. Eighth question category of animated. Oh, boy. Who played private investigator Eddie Valiant, who teamed up with Roger Rabbit oh, in uh, Who Framed Roger uh, Rabbit? And five. Awful Super Mario Bros. movie. Uh, Three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Andreco. Bob Hoskins. That is correct. correct. Nost. I put John Hoskins. That Close? is incorrect. I his middle name. And Roca. Bob Hoskins. And a perfect oh, round for the down. outlaw here. Woo! Bonus nice question job. for the outlaw. All right, outlaw, here right. you go. Here's your bonus question. All right. In a category of classics. What? Sorry, what? Classics. Okay. In director Billy Wilder's romantic comedy, Love in the Afternoon, what musical instrument did Audrey Hepburn play? No clue. Uh, wait, um, I have a dirty answer. Shush you. <laughs> Jesus, nah, this is a... Just, the you don't have to write it. You don't have to oh, write oh, it. Oh, uh... Five. The harp. Four. Three. The violin. Two. I don't know, violin. For the cello. Damn! Cello. 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 So the 13 9. 13 9 now. A four point lead. Still a great Four point lead here as we get into round number two. The competitors will switch seats and we get into round number two and it works for second. Yeah, we'll go first. You're gonna go first. All right, here we go. We're gonna try to put them. Uh, can I still. Big spin. Kind of put that pressure on. Yeah, I think. Trying to put the you, pressure on. You have the lead, you go first. Yep. And it's gonna land. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sports, sports movies. Movie. We'll take sports. Yeah, movies. we'll take, take it. it. I got it. Sports yeah. movies. Yeah. Here we go. Give sports movies, Joy. The boys. Sports uh -oh. movies. All right, guys. For your first question, who plays Brooklyn Dodgers team executive Branch Rickey in Forty Two? Harrison Ford. Two points. Correct. There you go. All right. In the two thousand and four Disney film Miracle. Which European countries did Team USA compete against in the Oslo Exhibition Game? Oslo, excuse me, Oslo. New Zealand? Yeah, multiple choice. Is it A, Denmark, uh, B, like Finland, C, Finland. Norway, D, Sweden? Norway? Correct, for Correct one for point. One. That was a good guess Woo! there. Ch the former champions playing very well right now. Yeah. All right. How many rounds did the final fight between Rocky and Clubber Lang last in Rocky Three? Shit. Three. Correct. Uh, Two right. points. Wow. Yeah. Look at look at the, the thing former the champion there. All right. Who played the coach in Ladybugs? Yeah. 
Dangerfield. Two points. Right. Look at top 10 now, making a very strong lead here. All right. What team does Billy Bean turn down for a job at the end of Moneyball? Boston Red Sox. Two points. Two points. All right, last one, last one. What classic film star made his final performance in Field of Dreams as Archibald Moonlight Graham? Burt Lancaster. Two more points. Yep. Uh, what Woo! an impressive round there by Yay. top 10. Really, I mean, putting the pressure on Blofeld's cat who needs to have a very strong Big second spin round. Is needed. All right, here Appreciate you go, guys. 24 9, you need a big round here. Come on, Give it a good spin. Benson. There you go. John. Double mix up. Musicals. Miss musicals. Ooh. Oscar movies. Oscar, Oscar movies. movies. Yeah, I'll take it. You're going to take Oscar. All right. All right. Nice. Six questions. Six questions. First one. For which Woody Allen movie did Diane Weist win a supporting actress Oscar? Gunn and her sisters. There you That's go, correct. two points. There you go. No, no, no. I know. I know. All right. For what movie did Julie Andrews receive her best actress Oscar? Mary Poppins? Five. Um, four. Three. Two. Mary Poppins? That's correct. Two, two points. points. There you go. <laughs> question three. All right, third question. For which film did Emma Thompson win her first Oscar? Howard's End. Wow. That's correct. Two, two points. points. There you go. Your fourth question. For which film did Sidney Poitier receive his only Oscar? Five. Four. Three. In the heat of the night? Incorrect. <laughs> Two points steal on the board. Look who's guess coming. Who's to, guess who's coming to dinner? Incorrect. Right. The field? That's right. Damn. Damn. That is right. All right, guys. Fifth question. Fifth question. Who won an Oscar for Best Actress in the 1971 film Clute? Jane Fonda. That's correct. All Two right. Points. Two points. All right. Your final question. Category of Oscars. Who won an Academy Award for writing Argo? Ben Affleck. Uh, Chris Terrio. That's correct. Oh, wow. There you go. 24-19. That was very Respect. impressive. A nice no. little run there. It's only five points here. It's five points. <laughs> After that big round by top ten, to only be down five points is really nice. Three. Third one is worth one and twenty. Six. Second one worth three. Third one is worth five. All right, so top 10, you guys are up first. Please choose three numbers between 1 and 20. Six. Six. Eight. Eight. Sure. 12. 12. 6, 8, and 12. And Blofeld's cat. 7, 9, and 13. 7, 9, 13. All right, so Blofeld's cat here is going to try to avoid the TKO as they get to 7. Question number 7 is their first category. That's movie quotes. That's movie quotes. Who wants to take movie quotes? I'll take it. All right. All right. Burnett, with a lot of confidence saying he's going to take it. All right. So category of movie quotes. In what 2000s film will you hear the quote, I am a golden god? <laughs> Almost famous. Two points. Nice. Two, points. Two, points. Two points. All right. So now a three-pointer in order to tie it for Andraco here with number nine. Mark, you chose fantasy sci-fi. Fantasy sci-fi. Here we go, Mark, to tie the game and send it back to top 10. What actress plays Captain Carmen Ibanez in the 1997 sci-fi romp Starship Troopers? Um, 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 oh, what's her name? The Denise Richards. Three points. Nice. Three points. Blofeld's yeah. cat ties it up, and now we now top ten goes back here. It is 24-24. Top ten will go back to take it to the five-pointer. Absolutely, guys. You pick number six. That category is famous actors and actresses. Famous actors and actresses. Two-point question. Who's going to take it? All right, I got it. All right. All right. Come on, Nost. Who played Dr. Martin Heiss, a paranormal debunker, in 2016's no. Ghostbusters? He was the secretary. Damn it. Uh... Can you repeat the question, please? It's the second one. Who played Dr. Martin Heiss, a paranormal debunker, in 2016's Ghostbusters? Well, 
Bill Murray. That's correct. There you go. Sure. Wow. Woo! Got it on that call. The JT rule helped him out. All right, so now Blofeld's cat is in a position. They have to hit their five-pointer in order to send it back to top ten. All right, so Blofeld's cat, you guys chose number 13. That would be 80s movies. 80s movies. All right, here we go. 80s movies. Name the 1987 sci-fi comedy that starred Meg Ryan, Dennis Quaid, and Martin Short. Inner Space. That's a five-pointer. Five five That's a five-pointer. How's wow. that a five-point question? What the fuck is that a five-pointer? <laughs> <laughs> I knew that, by the way. That's the it's the question. It's the question. That's a one-point question. Yeah. <laughs> if that. It's All top right, ten getting up, not. Top yeah. ten getting upset here, and we now rightfully so. <laughs> we now get, John Hoskins. <laughs> All right, now we get into All right. number eight. You guys chose number eight. That is Matthew McConaughey. Oh, shit. Matthew oh, McConaughey. Right, right, right. Shit. Three point question. So this is to Roca. Yep. In which movie did McConaughey take on the role of historical figure Roger Sherman Baldwin? The Lincoln lawyer? No. Five, four, three, two. I'm a stud. That's, That's correct. correct. Oh. Wow. Tie game. All right, so it is a tie Ooh. game now. Tie game now, and now it goes to this. So top ten uh, will have a chance this, to win the game top 10 if they hit their five-pointer. They'll pointer. break the record. If they do not hit their five-pointer, then we will go to sudden death. Also, if they hit their five pointer, they, they will record. break the single the team scoring record with this beating top action team actions scoring record. Here we go. All right. So we have category. You guys, you guys chose number twelve. That is movie characters. Oh. Movie okay. characters. Fuck. What Oscar nominated actress plays Bernadine Bernie Harris, who discovers her husband is leaving her in Waiting to Exhale? Wait, say it's, uh, uh, I'm so sorry. So last one, you have one more if you want to use it. Use uh, it. Well, let's think about it. Okay. Is that Oscar winning actress? Is that what he said? Five, four. Repeat the question. Uh, three. Repeat the question. It's oh, the last right. one. What Oscar nominated, nominated actress plays Bernadine Bernie Harris, who discovers her husband is leaving her in Waiting to Exhale? Makes no sense to me. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Come on. Angela Bassett. And you're <laughs> Action. Here we go. Wow, top 10 versus action. Here we go. That is, I'll tell you what, Christian, top 10 is a veteran team that can sometimes in this new era make you overlook teams Woo! that have been around so long. They just reminded us they are still here. Well, it takes a great team in order for you to be able to beat the record. I mean, 29 points yeah. is not too shabby. 29 points. 34 now is the brand new team record in a three rounder. They, be they beat team action and now they get to play team action. Blofeld's Cat had a nice little run there, um, but it's over. It's over for the Lions then this time around. The Patriots reign supreme there. Um, they are going to have to hope that top 10 doesn't win two more because they're going to have to see him again if that, that happens. Quite a rematch, but I, team action versus team top 10. I yeah. mean, that is oh, going to that be is a gonna battle be of energy, amazing, uh, desire, yep. and determination there, but Blofeld's cat, I mean, 29 points, that's two points off the record, it, Christian. That would have beaten most teams. It would. I mean, and 34 points, they beat Team Action's record. That's a lot of points, man. Yeah. So, all right, here we go. So now we're going to talk to Emma Fife, who's talking at top 10, and then I'm sure Grace Hancock's going to have a yeah, lot to say with Blofeld's cat. What is up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? Emma Fife here with the victorious team, Top 10. Woo. They have but done yeah, it again. John Roca, yeah. Matt Nost, what a match. Thank you very much. Yeah, I mean, amazing. I'm just uh, explaining the events of what we all just witnessed here, and it was really something incredibly Plus, remarkable. As I said last time we were here, you guys are exhibiting just 
fantastic teamwork all around. John Roca, yeah. you had your very first perfect round one. You I did. You got to be feeling pretty good about that. I, yeah, I was. I was. I mean, the question that I had to answer was a tough question, so respect to that. But like, just getting out of the, finally doing something that everyone else has done after me, I was very happy to kind of get lucky because those are those are tough categories. You know, to know that much about all those categories, it does take it, it does take a certain kind of knowledge and intelligence. And so I was happy to do that. They are absolutely now. You guys had an incredibly strong round two as yeah. well. I thought you guys were going to get a pretty serious lead with that sports movies category, but then I got to say, Blofeld's Cat caught up to you a little bit there. They were within five points. How were you feeling going into round three? Uh, going, I mean, at, at that point, it's just a crapshoot. Pick three random numbers. You have no idea what the category is going to mm -hmm. be. So yeah. basically, it's just hopefully you get something you know, and after that, we're just rolling the dice. Let's see what happens. Eh? Yeah, and you know what, Matt and I looked at the wheel, I know we said to each other, we were like, there's not a lot of positive categories for us on that wheel, it's really tough. And then we happened to land on the one that I noticed right before I spun, I was like, if we get sports movies, we might have a shot here. Yeah. And damn if we didn't get sports movies. And those questions, they were good questions for us to answer. We, we mowed right through it. And But you know, all credit to Blofeld's cat. What did we say about Robert Meyer Burnett, Mark Andreco? And Dranko brought it on the Oscars with Robert. It was pretty amazing. And it put us back on our heels going into that third round. So nothing was a given, it was only a five point Lead, anything could happen and so and and it ended up working out and of course again team top 10 went to the last question that's just kind of our mo and pulling it out you guys must feel pretty good uh taking down robert meyer burnett former teammate listen eh. yeah eh. i mean we're used to them losing, so it wasn't, you know, like you leave the horsemen. This is what happens. We try to tutor yeah. you. We try to give you the advice. We try to give you the knowledge that you need. If you don't take it and you leave us, you see what happens. We saw it already with a certain somebody in their first round match. That's just what happens. Yeah. Matt and I care about our teammates. We want to recruit, find the right people. If you can't respect what we bring into the table, if we can't show you what we bring to the table, you don't want to listen, there's not much we can do about it. And hey, just here's a news flash. And Emma, I don't mean to take your job from you, but 34 points. We broke the record. Hey, team little babies, we just broke your record, right? We just smacked, pulled down your little pants, your little Target suit wearing pants, and spanked your bottoms. We broke that record, and we broke the team record. And what did I say? All the belts, all the records from day one. That's what I said. And look, I just got another one in my pocket. Team little babies is team action, in case anybody yeah. was unclear about Team, team, team can't get that. no action. Look at that. That's, that's called two Red Bulls right there. That's right. <laughs> I definitely, I'm definitely seeing what is the going on with me? of yeah. those. But again, I mean, congratulations <laughs> on you. on beating the the team high score record, and yeah. you do get a chance now to actually take on Team Action in your next match. Never heard of them. Don't care. <laughs> Never heard That's of them. Who boy. are you, Team? Whatever in the hell. I don't give two shits. Just bring it on. Yeah. Next competitor. Yeah. Well, listen, what did we say? What are you guys? You guys have been talking all your mess. Uh, you've been poking the, you poking that stick in the lion's cage. Well, now you got us. Now you got us. Now what are you gonna do? Cause see, you can talk all you want, but once the match starts, it's a whole nother ball game. Mike, Tys Mike Tyson, the great Mike Tyson, the baddest man on the planet, said it once. Everybody's got a plan till they get punched in the mouth. Mm -hmm. And boys, we're gonna punch you so hard in the mouth during that match. Get ready. Except not actually poking the stick in the lion's cage, because we wouldn't want to associate you guys with the despicable lion's den. No, I'm saying they're way, poking the stick form. in our cage. In your cage, yeah. right. And so we're going to rip Excellent. their... Well, Never mind. Speaking of the lion's den, I guess we'll be back with uh, their pitch hitter manager, Grace Hancock, who I assume is also conducting their interviews today. Oh, thank you so much, you adorable dollar store Luna Lovegood. I'm Grace Hancock, here with Blofeld's cat. Okay, guys, look, this wasn't actually how we hoped this would go, but I'm going to say something right here at the top. 29 points is only two points away from the record. To be the losing team with 29 points is super impressive. I'm really proud of you guys. You guys were biting at their ankles the whole time like little rabbit chihuahuas. Like little MF5s. It. Exactly. Um, R&B, I mean, there was a couple. You stumbled a little in the first round. There was a couple yeah, there were easier there were, questions that maybe I think you should have gotten. Like, there were two that, like, spell water and spell yeah. air. You know, look, Chris. What happened look, there? Som sometimes you see people's faces, like Bob Hoskins. Of course I know. Long Good Friday. It's the same thing that happened to me when I, uh, it was Billy D. Williams when I was asked, who was Harvey Dent in Batman? You see his face, and you just can't. It, it, maybe it's because I... 
really have grown too old. But you never know. I'm coming back, you know. And by the way, I did know a lot of those Oscar questions you were spouting out. You guys I know, killed in the Oscar so round. You guys only missed so one expertly. in that round. Yeah, and that was actually my fault too. Lil, I wouldn't. You would have known Lilies of the Field. We should have conferred more. Uh, yeah, what uh, happened? I, there? I saw but, that you guys didn't but I was, that much. But I wasn't 100 percent about Lilies of the yeah. Field. And then he, in the heat of the night, when you're that under that Carol pressure, O'Connor. yeah, those Carol O'Connor one. Great movies begetting great movies makes you overthink things a little in those yep. rounds. So. All right, fine. So 34 points, but come on. I mean, these two nerdy Boy Scouts, they're overrated. Am I right? Come on. Top 10? Well, you know what? You got to give credit where credit is due, man. I mean, these are my former teammates, and I got to say, I mean, 34 points is a Schmodown record. You know, and I'm happy to have been in a match where we scored 29 points and, and 34 points. That's That's... But on the other hand, they are overgrown Boy Scouts. And let me tell you something. Does it really matter how many points they score? Because what's going to happen? Well, oh, I think we all know the, what's going to happen at the tournament. Yeah. yeah, we're going to be represented by our teammates in the, in the Lions Den, so we'll be there in spirit and we'll be there cheering them on. So, yeah, there's there's Absolutely. no shame here. We're a little regret. No shame here. There's no way. And the Patriots are going to win anyway, so it's all good. But you know what? You guys are not going to be gone for long because you both are going to be competing in the singles tournament. How are you both feeling about this? Uh, I'm always I'm always nervous before these things, and, and they can turn on a dime. And uh, going up against Rachel Cushing is going to be a challenge because she's, she's pretty good. So I never assume anything. I hope for the best, though. Well, that's a great, sassy little attitude. How about you? You know, I'm, I'm going to be in the Fatal Five way. I'm really excited about it. I think there's a lot of tough competition there. You know, I'm hoping to see my uh, fellow competitors really rise to the challenge. And hopefully, uh, actually, I'm going to win. Come on. There we go. And, and really, really, when it comes right down to it, at the end of all of this, the real thing that people should remember is we defeated Hector Navarro in teams. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Top 10 elated right now, obviously. They're calling out team action. They're ready for team action. It's time for uh, guard versus the guy. So make sure you go to the movie tra where top 10 has really become a fantasy darling. The, t the most points scored ever in a match, ever in a team match. Listen, if you don't have them, you really missed out on a fantasy opportunity there. Mostly because I think, honestly, top 10 could really go and win you an entire league. You may not even need another team. If you had them, if you had them, you could win everything. I, I don't know who you would trade them for. I don't even know. Maybe Wolves of Steel is somebody worth trading for. If, if you want to, you could probably go full Wolves of Steel, maybe mixed with a, a Nerds Watch or a Six Degrees for... A top 10 or top 10 vice versa but i think team wise team wise they are the greatest fantasy team we have right now and that really makes me makes my gears grind because i totally threw them under the bus a long time ago if you need more fantasy updates go to schmozno.com go to the schmodown rundown or inside schmodown i'm josh mccuga we'll see you next time on the movie trivia schmodown <laughs> oh copster and cody man yeah man New record, 34 points, congratulations, team top 10, I guess my theory was completely wrong, but I do see a point where Andreco is probably going to split from the Lions thing, just because the dude seems to be like a natural baby face, if you look at it like, he's always been the one that gives, out of the entire Lions thing, he's the only one that gives his opponents credit and says that they did, you know, they did a good job and he doesn't have that over cockiness that the Lions Den has you know Burnett has that and Burnett's on the five single loss streak I mean you know that just seems like the natural thing that would happen is for Mark to you know become a baby face for the singles and you know, the dude knows his stuff in the singles, so it wouldn't be that big of a deal if he broke off and went singles. Um, we'll just have to see, but top 10 versus team action is going to be incredible, man. I'm a fan of both of these teams, but again, I do have top 10 versus Wolves of Steel at, in the finals. Who knows, man? Team action could get it. I'm a huge top 10 fan I'm also a fan of team action I don't know like like I said I've got top 10 in my fantasy league so I want them to win if team action wins I'm not gonna be upset either man you know both these teams are incredible but 
if you guys enjoyed these reactions, let me know in the comments below. Give us a like, share this video around with your friends, and subscribe to Film Nerd TV for more entertaining content. We had just announced a anime Citric show starting next week. We also have tomorrow night myself, the boss Hunter Chambliss is is in the number one contenders match against Mr. JTH Jeremy Hastings. The Redemption Tour continues. I am looking for the belt. Mark, I'm coming for my belt. I'm gonna win back my belt. First ever two time champ, baby. I'm ready. And the boss gets what he wants. So if you guys enjoy these trivias, if you guys like what you see, continue to support this channel the way you do. You guys are amazing. I love you guys. And, you know, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Peace.